Hello. Okay, it is uh, Tuesday night, so I am late start to the vlog this week. Um, it was just a pretty busy weekend. Um, yeah, I just was busy and didn't seem to get much time for anything. So um, today I went to the dollar store to look for um, ribbon for these ornaments that I had made and I found two different types so I think I'll just um, test a couple and see um, what I like better. Um, the first one I got is red and green. Oh, gotta let the dogs in one second. Okay, um, so I got two kinds. Uh, the first kind is the these velvet um, ribbon, which I thought might look nice. And then I also got um, this red and green twine, which I don't, I don't know, it's already like unraveling, so I'm not sure. I'm just going to cut some pieces, put them on, and see how they look, see how it holds up, and then I'll figure out what I want to use. Um, the velvet's kind of cool, but I wonder if, like, it'll look kind of shitty with the back showing. So, we'll see. Give it a shot and see what we like. Um, so the other thing is I got two more orders over the weekend, so um, I really need to crack down on getting some stuff finished. So it is 9 o'clock right now. I think I can put in a solid two hours of painting and should be able to get this guy done tonight. So that is the goal, is I'm just going to paint for the next two hours straight and yeah, hopefully get this guy done. made a quick start on this one so I'm going to keep going with that um, this dog is pretty color um, it's kind of like brindle but she's got a lot of gray tones in her so that's going to be uh, interesting to capture um, yeah, alright, um, not much to say, I just wanted an update, um, I have another, I had another order come in today, so, um, we're gonna just be on a roll here of painting and moving on, so, um, I'm gonna block this one in a little bit more before I start filming, just because I think it's a little boring, and then I stopped filming about halfway through this one just because I had to do so many layers of paint to 
get the color right that I just thought it was getting like boring and repetitive so um, and then I just kind of got carried away doing the details and before I knew it it was pretty much done but I am gonna like I said let it marinate overnight and then see how I feel in the morning about it but if I could get this one done tonight I would feel really good about that it's 620 so it's not completely out of reach but um, if I could at least get it you know like 80% done today that would be I'd feel a lot better about that um, I still have to do the digital drawings of these two dogs for the mug and keychains um, I did start one of them the other day but still uh, got lots of work to do Hello. Okay, so um, last night I would say I got this 99% finished. Um, so here they look together. Um, looking at it again today, um, there's a couple things on this one that I want to um, adjust a little bit. So um, I'll probably do that in a little bit, but um, for now I'm just working on the digital just to get that going and um, yeah I probably only have like f five minutes of work left on this one. I'm really happy with how it turned out I think. Um, surprisingly I thought this was taking me a lot longer considering how long this one took me but I just find this hair color like um, like German Shepherds or like that tan I find it incredibly difficult for some reason to paint um i did another or i did a german shepherd ornament a few months ago and the same thing it took me so much longer than it should have for how like simple of a painting it was but yeah i just for some reason that that fur color in particular i struggle with i don't know um 
I get there in the end, it just it takes me way longer than I feel like it should in my brain. Like a, t a fur like this where it's like kind of, um, it's like brindle, grayish kind of color. She's a really cool looking dog, but you would think that this would have taken me way longer. And for some reason, this just like, I cranked this out last night in a couple of hours uh, versus like, I think I have four, four hours into this because it just I just wasn't happy with it so um, I don't know now that I know that that fur color is going to take me longer than it should I can kind of account for that in the future um, same thing with the uh, the pointer ornament that I did last week um, I thought that would take me a lot longer with the the speckled white fur at the bottom but um, that didn't take as long as I thought it would so um, I don't know if just like the paint gods were with me last night and I was able to do that or I don't know I don't know but yeah crank through that so get those finished today I would really like to get at least one of the digital drawings done today so this is how far I am and then I have to do the other dog and then these will be going on coffee mugs and keychains, um, which will be good because I need to test out the new heat press that I ordered. It's just been sitting here. I haven't really had the time. And then since I've got that going, I'll make a couple extra items that I need for the market just to keep momentum going. Um, I got another order yesterday, so I, I've got a lot on my plate right now, so I need to get the show on the road. Um, I have one, two, three, four more ornaments and one keychain order to do. So that's fantastic. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's, um, it's already Thursday. So like, I, I don't know how much, how long this video is going to be might just be a lot of time lapse of me painting but that's just the reality is some weeks are more admin stuff this week is a lot of artwork and stuff and then what I do at night is I just sit in bed and I'll like make reels and TikToks and stuff and schedule things for the week um, because I do have a day job that uh, I would thankfully I work from home but like I do have majority of my day I'm sitting at my desk so um, my back gets sore pretty quickly when I'm painting so I kind of some or sometimes what I'll do is I'll uh, do this in bed just because I can slouch and relax and still get it done um, yeah um, I still won't know for a few days um, if I got accepted into the market um, yeah, today's Thursday and Monday is the week that they start sending them out. So I hope I hear sooner than later in the week. Um, just so I know and I can stop stressing if I don't need to. Um, I am still really scared to do it, but I think it's something I need to do. Um, I have someone that's going to help me there so I'm not alone and she's super like bubbly and friendly and outgoing and good with attracting not attracting people but like she's very friendly and people like talking to her so I think she'll be a really good help because I'm so fucking scared <laughs> to talk to people that um I yeah I I don't think I would do as well if I was by myself to be honest and my husband is is good with people, but he's not like outgoing. Like he can carry on a conversation with a stranger, but I feel like people wouldn't like reach out to him. Whereas my neighbor, she's like, people would want to talk to her, so that's great. Um, what else? Um, yeah, that's that's about it for updates. Is yeah, I just have a lot of painting to do. Obviously. Orders are going to take priority over market prep because 
those people have paid me and I want to get those out as soon as possible. Also, I would like to get all of my orders finished as soon as possible so that I have the capacity to take on more. Um, because the market is December 3rd, that's cutting it really close to Christmas. Um, so I'll already be limited to how many orders I can take on if they want them ready for Christmas. So that's something I'll have to be super mindful of when um, the market comes. I'll have to make sure to be tracking how many orders I'm getting that day, if any, but hopefully I am, so that I can make sure I'll have enough time to get them ready. I would also like to do some sort of, I'm not sure what, but like some sort of if people still want to order but know it won't be ready in time for Christmas, if like they could still gift something, like whether it's a, not like a gift certificate, but some sort of like voucher or piece of paper or like a, like a coming soon piece of paper or like just something so that they can give someone hey, you're going to be getting this, it's just not ready yet kind of thing, and they can still be excited about it, but... So, I, I don't know exactly how to go about that, but I'm going to um, maybe reach out to some... I'm in some, like, business groups on Facebook. See if maybe they have any ideas of something I could offer for that. Um, I would assume, like, just like an email maybe. I don't know. I'll have to think about it, but um, I think that's all I have to update on for now. Um, maybe later today I will put some ribbons on these and maybe do some of the keychains the same, like these. Uh, I think I talked about it. I don't remember, but I have these little... Oh, I have a bunch of these blanks. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I tried painting on them. It's just really tough because they're so small. It takes a really long time. And I'm not, like, thrilled with how they turned out. So um, I was thinking of doing the same thing on these. Just to... Because I think I have a hundred of these. So I'm not really sure how to get rid of them. But I thought that would be a good... A good um, use of them. I'm already out the money because I have them, so if they don't sell, it is what it is. I could maybe like, oops, sorry, I keep kicking this. Um, I can maybe do like a, a giveaway or something in the future, but <clears throat> that's kind of where I'm at for now. Um, uh, if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. But yeah, just going to be a lot of time-lapse video of me painting, drawing, getting some getting some orders then my printer ink from regular ink to the sublimation ink so that I can make the uh, mugs and keychains and then also I need to test this new heat press that I ordered make sure it all works so um, it's a good thing that I'm getting this done today and then once those are made I can like take pictures and arrange a pickup with her um, 
and start on the next order I have, which is, I think it's a single ornament. I'll have to double check my list, but I'm pretty sure the next order is just a single ornament. Um, so I can start that and get that going. What I'll probably do now that I think about it is um, get all of my ornaments outlined at the same time, like do the like this where I've got the, the outline on them all at once and then that way they're kind of ready for painting whenever I am. Um, there's the red. I kind of got it a little twisted up here. Might have to retie that, but oh no, there you go. Again, it's got the glue from where it was tacked, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Just like makes it a lot more like Christmassy than the plain stuff. And like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be it like I don't know I think it's a little too plain not as like fancy I don't know what the word I'm looking for is but it's just like not I don't know this just looks a little more like luxury maybe <laughs> um oh okay so I guess maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just um start cutting strips of this to get these all ribboned up and then I can take some more photos of them I guess I'm not really sure yeah that's that's what I'm gonna do Okay, um, it is later. Um, I made the mug, so here's the first one. Um, and I'm troubleshooting with the second. Um, the first time I printed it, it came out with like, like a green tone, it's weird. And then this was the second attempt, which is better. Um, I'm still, I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm still messing with the printer because I wonder if it's plugged or something. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it sit overnight and then try this again in the morning and see um, if it's any better. So, wasted a mug, but that's okay. Um, that's part of it. So, at least I got the one mug. I think this looks, looks good. Um, and then I think what I'll do now is I'm just going to uh, actually what I need to do is edit this video and then um, get that scheduled so um, I'll probably end it here and then um, in the next video is when I will um, pack up uh, and work on the rest of the orders um, yeah that's not a lot happening but that's how it goes this, some weeks are busier than others um, but thank you for watching this far if you have. Um, I will see you next week and thanks.